Many of you perhaps already know how to add text to your slides in PowerPoint, but what I wanted to show you in today's video was how do you add text when there are other elements present on your slides? For instance, how do you add text to a shape in your presentation? What is the correct way of doing that? And once you have the text added to your slides, how do you edit the text? How do you emphasize the text? How do you do some basic formatting of your text? We'll be covering all of that in today's video. So without further ado, let's get started. As always, I've actually gone ahead and opened up a presentation just to save us a little bit of time. I'm gonna add a new slide to this uh, presentation over here and uh, let me just get rid of all these elements. The way I would do that is opening a blank layout. So I'm just gonna select a blank layout. Now, for those of you who are um, absolute beginners who probably don't even know how to add text onto slides, let me just show you how you would add text to your slides in PowerPoint. Now, uh, one thing there is to note is that you typically not see this kind of a presentation. When you open a new presentation, you're not gonna see these kind of slides. You're actually gonna see something that looks more akin to this on your presentation you will actually see placeholders text placeholders content placeholders like this one and a title placeholder over here like this one now adding text when you have placeholders is quite straightforward it's pretty easy all you have to do is click inside this text box in, inside this text placeholder and just start typing uh, when you want to add text to your slides it's as, sim as simple as that. And when you're done, just click outside anywhere. And there you have it. You have the text on your slides. Now, when you wanna edit the text, which, is, which you've already added to your slides, it's also very easy. All you gotta do is just use this cursor over here and then click on the sentence which you've added. And then you can just double click on any word and to replace it. You can just format it uh, or edit it. You, you can do any of that. You can also use the cursor using the arrow keys and you can just move your cursor across the line and just use the normal selection tools from the keyboard. You can just select the word uh, using shift and arrow keys as well and just change the word the way you want. You can also add new text uh, to the slide to the text placeholder and uh, it works pretty seamlessly. It works just fine. So this is how you would add text to your slides in presentation in your PowerPoint presentation and also edit text to your slides in PowerPoint. Now, one thing to note is sometimes you will not see any text placeholders on your slides. What is a placeholder if you're wondering? It's a box which allows you to add text directly on the slides. It's actually a topic for another video and I'll keep in mind and uh, to make this video in the future for you guys. But sometimes you will not see a text placeholder on the slides. Perhaps you see a presentation from your colleagues and you know you have a bunch of different slides in the presentation and you just wanna add a new slide in the sequence of slides in, in the presentation that you receive. And when you try to add a new slide, you'll see that it's completely blank and you don't actually have text placeholders on it. So how do you add text in such a scenario? Well, the solution is actually quite simple. All you need to do is add the text box first to the slide and then add the text to your slides. So the way you would add a text box in PowerPoint is you click on the insert tab and then search for this text box icon, click on it and then drag the cursor on your slide anywhere and add the text box. Now you can simply start typing just the way you did it in the previous uh, example and that is how you would add a text box. Now notice when you click outside, the outline of the text box disappears and editing the text box works exactly the same way. Just click over here somewhere and you will be able to edit the text box just as you would in a normal scenario. Now the interesting thing is you can actually duplicate or create more text boxes. So let me just actually add a new text box. I'll go to the insert tab, click on text box option once again and add another text box, another text box. And uh, you can repeat this process. You can in fact copy and paste these text boxes using control C and control V if you're using Windows and command C and command V for Mac. And you can add third text box to your slide, right? And uh, the beauty of this is you once you have multiple text boxes, you can actually move these pieces of text around on the slide and which actually allows you to not limit your possibilities in terms of how you can you, how you can structure the text, how you can put the text on your slides. I remember the first time I started out and I was creating the presentation, I would actually put all the text in just one text box. Now, what that would do is limit the number of ways in which I could write the text on the single slide and uh, it, it would just 
you know be a bunch load of text on a slide just not look all that pretty so having multiple text boxes actually allows you to move the text around you can use it very creatively just have to be a little creative and you will be able to make your slides more impressive now i just wanted to show you a couple of examples of how uh, you can use multiple text boxes. Um, so here's an example. Now if you notice all of these are different individual pieces of texts. This is a template by the way. I'm using a delivery template over here. I will leave a link in the description if you kind of like this template and want to use it for your presentation as well. It is an affiliate link which basically means if you purchase using my link I will get a commission from it without any additional cost to you. If you are an absolute beginner don't use this template. You will actually need some bit of skills to use the template for your presentation. But if you are a bit experienced you can use this kind of a template for your presentation. Now coming back to the video if you notice there are actually multiple different text boxes uh, that the designer over here has used this is another slide again you notice this is a separate text box this is a, a another text box both actually follow a different kind of a font formatting as well which actually makes the text look different from each other and they've been grouped together over here again there's another text box which has been added now over here as well there are different text boxes that have been used and you don't actually have to use just one single text box in the complete slide just wanted to show you that you can actually use multiple different text boxes and structure them in different layouts and different formats to make your presentations look slightly nicer, more visually appealing. I hope you've kind of, you know, you get a good sense of what I'm trying to uh, arrive at over here. This is another example. You can just increase the font size just to give more emphasis uh, to a particular text. And over here as well, you know, the person over here has actually used different text boxes for different kinds of content. Now. This person could have very well used a single text box to in, you know, include all of this text over here, but that's not what they've done because this allows you slight bit of creative liberty in order to arrange the layout as good as it can possibly be and make it look more visually appealing. So that's how you would add a text box on your slides and add text to your slides. Now let's just say that we want to add a, a text to a shape. Let me insert a new shape over here and the way you do that is go to insert tab and click on shapes. And uh, for the sake of this example, I'm just going to go with this kind of a parallelogram and I will insert a new shape over here. The way you would add, uh, typically add text to any shape is just click on the shape over here. And one way is you can just start typing and this will automatically add text to your shape. Now, another way you click on the shape to you know select it and then right click on it and select edit text now this will actually uh, allow you to select the text inside already if you don't have text already present inside the shape you can then go ahead and add more text you know it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward but here's why this is not the best method right uh, if you add a lot of text if i just continue to add more text to this shape you will notice how this just starts moving outside. It starts bleeding outside the shape. In some cases, it will be outside the box over here, outside the shape over here. And that's not something that you, you, know, you would want to do. So what is the right way of adding text to a shape? Here's what I would recommend you to do. You know, when you add a new shape, let me just delete this text over here. When you are adding a new shape to your slide, just add the shape as is. Then what you want to do is add the text box separately. You want to go to the insert tab, click on the text box and then insert the text box over the shape. This basically allows you to control the way, uh, the amount of text and the manner in which the text is put onto your slide. So this would be the right, right way to add text to your slides, uh, to your shapes rather. Right now, you might ask what's the difference over here? Well, for starters, it actually allows you to get better control of the text you, without even changing the shape over here, you can actually change the way your text aligns. You can increase or decrease the font size over here. Typically what you would usually do, right? But this allows you additional functionality. You can move just the text if you would want and not the shape. And that's something as and when you start doing more presentations, you will notice that this is, this is actually a great benefit. Now, I wanted to show you an example over here say uh, this kind of a shape right over here right now you might think you know this text is actually added inside the shape but you would be wrong actually over here here's another example of how text has been added over the the shape over here instead of inside the shape now if you were to add text to a shape let me just show you what would happen 
I'm just going to use this shortcut to add some dummy text. And as you can see, it is bleeding on the top. It, the text just bleeds out of the shape on the bottom. The other problem is with uneven shapes is that sometimes when you have the text over here, it's just cutting off from here. And while you can see the text over here, but at the same level, you will not be able to see the text on the other side, right? And you can't just move this text over here. Like if you try to move it, you're probably moving the whole box or the whole shape. So what's really convenient is you can just add the text over here in a separate text box. Um, in addition to the in addition to the shape on the slide that just allows you more flexibility and that's the shape that's the method that I would recommend that you go for now that you've understood how to add text you know you've also understood how to edit the text on your slides I just wanted to show you very quickly some of the ways which you can use to emphasize text in your slides and that would be using the bold the italics the underlined format options you can also use color to attract attention of your audience members. But for now, let's just look at how you would add some bold italics and underline formatting to your text. Now, first I would recommend that you select the word which you want to highlight over here. So in this case, I'm gonna use the wonderful word over here. Just gonna make it bold and it should stand out. Actually, this is not the right text to use. Let's just use Calibri. Now when you bold it, you can see how it stands out from the rest of the text over here. You can also make it italics. You can also underline it just to give more emphasis over here. And uh, you can even change the color over here. This will stand out on the green color on the background. So this is how you can give more emphasis to text in, in your PowerPoint presentation. Now the way to reverse this is you can simply press on these options once again, once you've selected the word over here and you will be able to reverse these options over here. So in this video, we actually learned a little bit of uh, how to add text, how to edit text, what is the correct way of adding text to shapes in your PowerPoint presentation, and also a bit of basics of how to format the text and how to give them bold and uh, italics and underline formatting. We've learned some of these basics. I would invite you to watch this next video where I show you some additional advanced features of how to format text in your PowerPoint presentation. So that's it from my end for this video. This is Short signing off from Out of Presentations and I will see you in my next video.